You know those build ideas you get in the back of your mind where you have to ask permission to wreck a perfectly good thing which can't be fixed until you either succeed or fail at that idea? Well, today we're gonna do one of those projects. Welcome back. Friends, as you can see back there, I have asked Miss Jordan for one of her very precious dog kennels in order to make this rabbit tractor. And you're probably asking this question at this point in the video, why not just make a rabbit tractor out of wood and one that has wheels on it and basically what everybody else does? And the answer is really simple. With everything going on at this point in time in the world, building materials have skyrocketed. And with us being on such a really tight budget, I needed something that I could do that wasn't gonna break the bank, but get the job done. So what did we do? We did the normal thing that we always do. <laughs> we shopped the house. So I have shopped the house for this wonderful dog kennel and all of the other materials that I already had, minus the zip ties and everything else. And I think this is what we're gonna end up having because we have another big one, but I wanna test it out on this small one to see if I can actually accomplish it. If you enjoy videos like this, give a little tap on that like button to let YouTube know that this video is worth spreading around and make sure you're subscribed because one of our biggest projects happening is our carport turn barn build that we are excited to get finished. So again, if you're not subscribed, you definitely don't wanna miss that. So let me just walk you through the plan here. The plan is to flip this upside down put this material underneath. This is basically a dog area wall. Um, we've used this before when we have the puppies, but basically I'm gonna cut this down to fit on the bottom so that way the rabbits can't dig out of the bottom. And then I wanna take that big panel that you see on top of it over there and basically just zip tie it to the top and I wanna have a supplemental feeder and a supplemental waterer and basically create shield from the rain plenty of airflow and all the necessities that a rabbit can have and have access to all of the grass underneath, be able to pull it, basically just like we do with any chicken tractor. Hopefully by the time this is all done, I don't hate the fact that I've had to kind of cut this up in order to put the feeder and stuff in it and then it's not usable for rabbits or dogs, but I guess we'll find out. So the original plan here was we were actually gonna use this poultry netting and it probably would have done just fine. It's got big enough openings and it does allow the grass inside and it would have kept everything else out and them inside the cage. But for us, it was just kind of a little too flimsy. So I decided to use this fencing to basically sturdy it up and make sure that nothing was gonna get in or pull at it or that they were going to be able to untwine this or something. Uh, but you could, you could do this. If you're feeling inspired to make something like this, you could do poultry netting on the bottom if you don't have one of these. So don't let that discourage you. Obviously my metal shears are a little dull. Just a little tip if you do decide you want to do this. This is the piece we just cut right here. This is my new piece. I'm literally just going to put it over. I'm sure it's lined up over here. I'm literally just gonna mark it. Then I'm gonna cut it again. Oh. 
So if you've never used zip ties before, you're like a nail, a screw kind of guy. Get you some zip ties. They can be any size, um, big, small. They're fantastic and they'll hold anything on. That's what we're gonna end up putting the side on here with. The plan was to use these and then use these for the top and these for the sides because there's no like wind problem, whereas the top might have wind go against it, so using the bigger ones might be a smart thing. So I started with this drill bit, and this drill bit was crooked. So it was causing all kinds of issues and whatnot, so I found a smaller one. Definitely smaller now, because um, right as I was about to use it, it just broke. Go figure, right? So. Luckily, I found another one that was this size that wasn't broken, and I'm just going to use basically these, the big ones, because if I use the small ones on it, it's, they're just going to go right through. So, big ones it is, going to get ready to do the side, get the sides done, put the top on, and then I'm going to show you the plan for putting in the feeder. Hopefully this goes a little bit more smoother now. We'll find out. tin on top it's just one sheet of tin just for ease of use uh, I've thought about putting double tin on here uh, using what was left over from the sides but for this instant we're gonna use this one sheet of tin and literally all this is doing is just keeping water out and keeping shade on the rabbits it's got an overhang here so it's not exactly the same size but I think it I think it'll work out fine so let's put it together So, this is the part where I am basically ruining this kennel. So, all we have left is the waterer. And the waterer is really easy, it's just, it just hooks on. I mean, you don't have to cut anything, you don't have to do anything about it. So that's not the problem. The problem is this. So, if you can see this here, side of the kennel, this is where I want the top of the feeder to go. So basically I have to cut out one, two, three, four, five, and at least make them halfway. And I haven't ruined the kennel, I guess, but at this point, once you cut this, having a little puppy in here, you'd have to cut all this out and put something here for him, and it, it really wouldn't make a difference. So, hopefully, fingers crossed, this will turn out nicer than I think it will but it's gonna be similar to that. Looks like you got a rabbit there. Oh, I've got three. You got three? Yeah. Oh my goodness. So they're ready. They're ready to go out. Yep. You got such big eyes. All right guys, so I am very pleased with how this thing turned out. There's nothing better than whenever you have an idea and you put it into practice and it just turns out better than you ever could imagine. I think this is gonna work really, really well. And it's super light, super lightweight, super easy for Jordan to pull and super easy for me to pull. If you're looking to build this project for you or somebody that you know, I'll leave all the parts below in the description so you can check all that out and get everything that you need to do exactly what we did today. And if you wanna know more about our rabbits or how we raise our rabbits, I'll leave you this playlist up here. And here's the subscribe button, because remember, we're building a barn out of a carport. You really don't wanna miss that. So thank you guys for joining me today. I appreciate you coming along with me. We'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. I don't know why I'm going like this, you can't even see it in the frame.